Today, our main focus is on introducing the Western Digital USB to SATA Signal Equalizer, officially launched by MRT. In simpler terms, it can be understood as a probe board with signal amplification. For this demonstration, we will be using the probe board designed for the Western Digital 800067. Let's begin by looking at how to install this probe board. To ensure convenience, we have prepared three types of screws. The thinner screws are guide pillar screws, used to calibrate the position of the probe. There are two types of thicker screws. One is used to secure the probe board in the slots on the circuit board, while the other, with a longer screw shaft, is used for overall fixation. Now, let's proceed with the installation of the probe board. Ensure that the holes for the guide pillars are properly aligned. For securing the probe board, tighten the screws just enough without excessive force. Once the probe board is installed, you can connect the data and power cables to begin repairing the disc. You might be curious about the Type-C interface present on the board and when it needs to be connected. Functionally, it serves as a programming interface with two key purposes. Firstly, it enables the reading and writing of data from the ROM chip, facilitating firmware unlocking operations on the hard drive. Secondly, this interface allows for the adjustment of the hard drive signal gain ensuring more stable and faster data retrieval. Now, let's connect all the cables and proceed with a demonstration of the software side operation. We have separately configured a supplementary program encompassing ROM red slash write functionality and gain adjustment settings. Firstly, we need to select the COM port. In this case, the Type-C port is recognized as COM5 in the device manager. Clicking the refresh button will display the available COM ports, and we can select COM5. Next, Click the connect button. Since the drive is not yet unlocked, we need to begin by reading the original ROM. Before doing so, ensure that the ROM read slash write power switch is turned on. Let's start by reading 32 kilobytes to verify proper communication. The readout is successful without any issues. The ROM data for the 800067 drive is 1 megabyte. So let's proceed with reading 1 megabyte. After a successful read, let's save the original ROM. We can then utilize MRT's unlocking function to unlock the original ROM. Once the unlocking ROM is generated, we can write the unlocking data to the ROM chip using the software. After completing the ROM data read slash write, it's important to turn off the ROM read slash write power switch allowing the probe board to revert to normal data transmission mode. There is one more important thing to keep in mind when using the probe board for data reading. With the current version, it is advisable to use SATA 2 mode. You can find the mode selection option in the tools menu on the main interface. Simply click on transmission and reset for SATA controller to adjust the mode for each individual port in MRT. By default, the mode is set to SATA 3. Now, let's switch the transmission mode from SATA 3 to SATA 2 for... At this point, powering on the hard drive will enable access to the firmware information. First, let's create a backup of the firmware. Enter the DE module and create a copy task. We'll select VHDX as the destination for data copying. 
Once the task is established, perform head mapping on the hard drive to generate a head bitmap. Next, attempt to expand the hard drive's partition table. The partition table successfully expands, allowing us to mark the valid data. After completing the marking process, we can initiate the copy operation. Currently, the drive is using PIO mode with a sector size of 32. The copying speed is averaging around 30 megabytes per second, providing a stable performance. Now, let's increase the speed and test if the drive can still maintain a stable read operation. Switching the read mode from PIO to SATA high speed and changing the sector size to 2016 sets the drive to the highest read speed configuration. With this setting, the average read speed reaches around 65 megabytes per second. This speed allows for completing the data mirroring process within a day.